Hello friends, this video on statistics part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study mean of group data. In mean of group data, we will study direct method to find mean, assume mean method, step deviation method. We will also study median of group data will study mode of group data. So if you see, we'll study mean, median and mode all of group data. We'll study graphical representation of cumulative frequency distribution. In this, we'll study more than time, less than time and locating median from the graph. So before we study statistics, let me give you an overview of what statistics is. Statistics is nothing but science of average and their estimates. We have already covered little bit of statistics in the previous class where we have learned to find mean, mode and median. Statistics is nothing but science of average and their estimates. And statistics deal with data. Please note statistics is nothing but data. It deals with data collected for specific purpose. For example, I say I need sales data. So sales data is one data where you have sales trend. What is the sale per day? That kind of thing. If I am talking about population data, the, this will have the population density of people across various places. So if you see, statistics is nothing but data for a specific purpose. And what we do with this data? We take decisions. We make decisions with this data. Correct? We have a huge data. We analyze it, interpret it and we make decisions. So generally the reason why we have statistics is the data is huge. For example, if I'm talking about the sales, sales of let's suppose I'm talking about uh, Maruti car, sales of Maruti car in India or sales of car in India. So in that case, there are so many uh, data. For example, in this quarter one, 2011 the sale was this much, quarter 2 the sale was this much. If you break it further based on different region, north region, south region, east region. So the data is huge. The person who takes decisions won't be able to understand the data if the data is given in the crude form. That's why we take help of statistics to analyze and interpret the data and come up with some numbers. And the person who is taking decision just need to see those numbers and take a decision. I'll tell you the use of statistics. Statistics is used in demographic data. So if you see, there are people with different uh, race, ethnics. So if you want to find the number of uh, Hindus in India or number of Christians in India, those kind of data or number of people who are illiterate, number of people who are literate, number of people who earn more than 25,000, number of people who earn less than 25,000, a number of people who are businessmen, housewives. So all these data you see is done using statistics. Statistics is also used to find sales trend. For example, an example I gave you uh, the car sale. So you, you have a huge data on car sale, the model sold, the unit sold, sold in which district, the price, all those things. So for sales trend also, statistics is Statistics is also used for unemployment ratio. This guy is employed, this guy is unemployed. If you want to find actually in a country, for example, in a country like India, I want to find the percentage of people employed, the percentage of people unemployed. For this, I can use statistics. As mentioned, statistics is also used for business decisions. So, as I told you, you have huge data. And then we analyze and interpret data and come out with some numbers. We say that mean is equal to something. We say mean is equal to X, mode is equal to Y, right? Or median is equal to something. These, these, these things we'll learn now. These values, right? So these values are something which we derive by analyzing and interpret huge chunk of data. So these guys, this businessman, this businessman, they don't have time to analyze and interpret the whole data. They'll just Take these values, mean, median, mode, and they'll make a decision. So for business, for making business decisions, we need statistics because statistics converts huge chunk of raw data into 
meaningful business data correct so these are the some of the examples of usage of statistics in real life and that is one of the reason why we learn statistics the only purpose of statistics is you take huge data you analyze it and come up with the meaningful values and that is used by business people or government or anybody to take crucial decisions before we move ahead with the statistics let me cover the crucial term called central tendency we have covered these terms again let me cover central tendency it is nothing but a measure that tells where the middle of the bunch of data lies when i'm saying the middle of the bunch of data i mean to say for example i have number 3 5 7 9 11 correct so if you or 13 if you see in this case the middle data is somewhere these values these values so this is nothing but it tells where the middle of the bunch of data lies if you have a bunch of data it will give you where the middle of the data lies and they have three actually measures for central tendency mean median and mode we have covered all this thing in the previous classes mean median and mode so mean is nothing but you add all the numbers divide by the the count you get the mean correct for median you arrange in the ascending order and you get the center one that becomes the median and mode is the something but something which has the highest frequency i'll cover all this thing i'll give you again a brief introduction of mean median and mode just now understand that central tendency is nothing but it gives the measure of where the middle of the bunch of data lies for example in this data the middle is 79 if you have data like this 1 2 3 so in this case the middle value is this guy so huge chunk of data then also we can find the middle so th this has a crucial importance in the statistics and that is why we are learning central tendency it tells where the middle of the bunch of data lies and three common measures of this uh, central tendency is mean median and mode they are more actually but these are commonly used mean median and thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again